Hello, my name is Ginger Mickey and I am the Cocalico High School Librarian and I'd like to welcome you to our library. To begin a tour, we're going to enter through the main entrance and come upon the circulation desk. The circulation desk is a place where your child is able to check out materials from the library, get assistance with their computers when they're having problems, ask for help regarding research and citation creation, and assistance with the printer when needed. As we continue our tour through the library, you will notice that we have a display of new books. This is where we highlight the titles that have recently arrived to our library. It's a way for students to quickly see what has newly arrived, make a selection, check it out, and have two weeks to read a fun book of their choosing. When students turn around, they're facing what is known as the Flexible Instruction Group Seating Area. This is the main section of our library, and currently we have our desk placed in a way to keep students socially distanced. During the regular school year, students are able to take these, um, this furniture and move it to create the workspace that works best for them. This area is located in the fiction section of our library. That is the books that students consider the fun reading, and this area is often utilized by classes that are coming to the library for research. Students have the ability to use the resources in the library, such as print materials, have access to the librarian for help, and our database collection, which is available online as well. Another area that students often find fun to sit is what is called our relaxed seated area. Currently, each one of these air, um, cushion seats is separated for students to have a work area that works for them but these chairs can be moved around the library or formed into a sofa for more comfort. Behind this area, you'll notice there is a small instruction area. This area is located in our nonfiction section of the library. And in the nonfiction section, students have access to research materials along with our reference collection. In addition, students have access to the librarian and databases in this area as well. To the left, you will notice there are some high tables that is known as our cafe seating and students who are in the research skills course tend to sit there during their time here in the library. It make, gives them a bird's eye view of all that's going on. One of the more popular areas of our library is known as the egg chairs. This is a relaxed or fun seating area for the students. Often they will come kick back in a, kick back in a chair and read a book of their choosing. Other students will come and work in collaborative areas where they will talk with their friends and work on assignments or projects and relax in the egg chairs. Other options that the students have in the library is they are able to print. They can send items from their computers to the printers here in the library. When they have time in their schedule, they're welcome to stop by, access their account, and print off the materials that they need. In addition, we do offer to students the use of what's called a green screening room. This area can be run by an individual student or small groups. In addition, students can create class projects or projects of their own personal interest. I've seen students create music videos and dramatic readings just for their own fun and enjoyment. And they've also used the space for group projects to complete various assignments for the business department, social studies, um, health, um, a lot of different courses have brought their students to the green screening room. In addition, students have the ability to use the library up until 5 p.m. on Thursdays. We have what is known as open library. It goes from after school at 2.37 until 5 p.m. Students are not required to let anybody know. They just need to stop in the library, find a fun a seat to work in, and I'll be happy to assist them if they need help while they're here. But they are welcome to be here until 5 p.m. on Thursdays when school is in session. Another offer that we have here at the high school library is a research skills course. This course began last school year. It is offered to our juniors and seniors. It is considered a senior elective and does run a full semester. Research skills is managed through the Schoology system. And as you can see, our students complete nine units of work during this class. Currently, we have 13 students. Your child may be one of those 13 students. If not, you may want to encourage them to take the course. It was designed to encourage students 
to write formal research papers that would be appropriate for the collegiate level. So as they go through, each unit is designed to build on skills that they've already learned here at the high school and take it a step further so they are well prepared for the university papers they will have to write. They start with research basics, move on to using databases. We do take them out into a few databases that you see at the college level, such as JSTOR and EBSCOhost. These databases can be utilized at the high school, but are really seen in colleges. In addition, our students um, are learning how to search the web effectively. While we rarely use Google in formal research papers, there is becoming an increasing need for diverse information. So in searching the web, students learn how to find reliable information that would be suitable for a college level paper. Unit four focuses on information ethics. And in information ethics, we're ensuring that students know how to follow copyright and rules, that they know how to cite the documents that they're using, and that they are using information in ways that are following our legal system. Unit five takes students into a new level of reading. At the high school level, students are often reading journal articles or magazines or newspapers. In this course, students are exposed to what are called peer-reviewed journal articles. A peer-reviewed journal article is an article that is written for the collegiate level of professionals within the field that they will study, and it gives students a chance to engage with this work before they will see it when they're in college. We also teach three types of citations, the APA or American Psychological Association, which is utilized in all courses here at the high school, except for English. In English, they use the MLA citation format or Modern Languages Association. When our students leave, they all are pretty well versed in these two types of citations, but we also add in a third type called Chicago Styles in Unit 8. The Chicago Style citations are often used in humanities, specifically within social studies or history courses, and we do try to expose our students to that as well in case they encounter it when they get out into the collegiate world. Finally, our students will spend about four weeks writing a formal research paper. They will start with the research process. They will select a topic. Often students choose a topic related to a course that they're currently taking so that they get the added support. And with that topic, they slowly work through finding the information, learning to in-text cite, cite the sources that they have, and they will write a formal paper suitable to the content that they're working with. They learn that APA citations are generally used in science MLA for languages, and Chicago style for the humanities. So if your student is not currently a member of research skills, you might wanna ask them to consider it. If you have any questions, you can contact me at my school email. It is ginger underscore Mickey at cocalico.org. And I wanna wish you a joyful evening.